YouTubes! Welcome back, Haunt Fam. Today I want to do a video on silicone mold making. I've done other ones, but the last one I did was a huge uh, video where I was molding spikes and skulls and magnets and all kinds of stuff. Uh, my main goal for this is to show you guys, kind of get you into silicone molds uh, to produce uh, resin copies. So these guys are my monster magnets. I make these for the kids for uh, Halloween. I got a bunch of new sculpts. I've been super busy since right around before Christmas time. I just got this wild bug up my butt and I've been sculpting like crazy. So I'm going to show you guys how to reproduce something that you make in Sculpey and make a silicone mold of it so you can make a copy. Okay YouTubes. Uh, first and foremost you're going to need an object to go ahead and make a mold of. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, these are my little Sculpey sculpts I've been working on. I've got like 20 new ones this year for uh, the trick-or-treaters to make uh, magnets out of, monster magnets. I just start with uh, Super Sculpey. I ball up a little boy of foil. I put it in the oven, bake it, and this is what you get when it's done. So these are what I'm going to mold up. Uh, I've got a bunch of new sculpts this year. I've got a little bat with bat wings. I've got a little zombie hand. This one should be pretty cool. This will be a magnet as well. Uh, I did Baba Yaga, the witch I just had. I got a zombie. This guy got kind of burnt in the oven a little bit, but that's okay. Makes him look extra gnarly. Uh, I went ahead and did a vulture. I don't know if I can make a mold of this, because with the undercut with the beak, I don't know if it'll pop out or not. But I figure, what the hell. I got an owl. I got a new pumpkin. I got a plague doctor. These are just smarties for the eyes. Uh, I went ahead and molded a snowman, evil snowman, or made a snowman. I've got a little uh, crude demon face here, because this is going to be a chain holder for me. Let's see what else. I don't do clowns, but I figured for my brother Vic over at Monster Misfits, I'm going to do a clown this year. Uh, I did a bat. I did a gargoyle. I did a little elf. April suggested I do a little Christmas elf. So I got a little creepy elf with a bunch of sugar in his tank. I did a little uh, headhunter head, because I love headhunters and Sansas. I did a crow this year, because I haven't had a crow. I figured, oh, that's a good magnet to add to the group. I didn't have a scarecrow, so I figured, hey, let's add a scarecrow to the mix, too. We don't have a scarecrow. And then I went ahead and I did a planchette, and then I got some uh, little tiny skulls for snowmans and stuff later. So I've got a bunch of objects to make, and if you guys had saw my um, thrift shop video, these are the perfect things to make molds in. They're just little dishes that I get from the thrift shop, all different sizes. They're 50 cents, a quarter, a dollar a piece, and they make the perfect molds for silicone molds. So if you can make your object fit in one of those bowls, you're good to go. So once you get your object, you got to start with the... Uh, you pick your dish that it'll fit in, and you want to make sure that they say you need to go about a inch, half an inch higher than your object. For something this small, you don't. I've got a bunch of molds that are close to like a quarter inch or probably less. It's no big deal. But what you're going to need is something to stick them to the down, something to stick them down to the little dish you're in. So this one being glass, you can see the backside. I usually use the blue tack, but this time I decided, hey, I'm going to go ahead and try clay and see how that goes. It's easier to pack in there underneath your object to mold. So you can see this guy's got a little undercut. I'll have to make a little uh, make a little cut in the silicone later so I can slide this chain back there and, and he'll be a chain holder for me. But uh, I'm pretty happy with everything. I've got everything basically stuck down and kind of tucked back in there to knock the clay back and make it surround the edge so you don't want silicone getting under your eye in them. And if it does, that's okay. You just got to trim it off and be careful about it. But I got all these guys want to make molds of and I won't be able to do it today because that's going to be way too much silicone. So uh, I'm going to get the silicone, and I'll show you guys what we're going to just start on next. Okay, YouTubes. This is our silicone. This is what we're going to use. This is uh, Smooth On 20T. I love this stuff. They call it 20T because that's its uh, hardness scale, or hardness rating on the scale, which is about uh, a pencil eraser. Um, like a, a 2010 or a, a 10 on a hardness scale would be more like a gel insert. Like a 70 is sort of like a... a uh, the sole of a shoe, a harder rubber. So this is going to be what we're going to make our mold out of. I'll open it right up. This is off Amazon. Figured I'd start with just a little trial kit. You guys just getting into this. It's going to be super easy, and this stuff works great. I've used it already for a bunch of my other monster magnets. I love this stuff. It's super easy to mix. It's one part equal to one part equal of this uh, part B. And you mix it together, and that's going to be what makes the actual mold around our little character, or our little item. So we need to get some uh, mold release spray on these guys. They say that you don't need mold release with this, but I like to use it anyways, just for the heck of it. So I'm going to get the mold release, and we're going to prep all these little guys, and we're going to start pouring some uh, silicone molds up. Okay, YouTubes. So this is actually Smooth On Universe for mold release. You don't need it but I like to do it anyways. We're gonna take our object once you have it stuck down and all your little edges are pretty clean so that silicone won't creep under it. And I just kind of give it a shot. 
and they tell you you're supposed to brush it around, try and get down in all your little cracks and crevices and all that stuff, and that's plenty good. And then they tell you you should take a second shot at it, just to kind of dust it on. But you can see it's kind of nice and shiny, it's kind of coated in oil. So that's plenty good, it'll work, but they need to tell you right before you mold to give another dust coat about 10 minutes before you mold. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna knock all these guys out. There's no way this silicone will stretch over all these, but it doesn't hurt to go ahead and prep them now anyways and have them ready so when I get more silicone, I'm ready to finish uh, molds for all these guys so I can start making duplicates. Okay, YouTubes, so we've got our object that we wanna mold. We went ahead and pressed it into our little molding dish, which is a thrift shop uh, piece. We went ahead and sprayed it with some uh, mold release agent and brushed it on. It's nice and slick and slippery, so we're ready to go. So now that we've got our silicone, we've got parts A and parts B. And I wanna to stress to you guys, if you wanna do silicone mold making, buy the starter kit on Amazon. They're expensive. These little guys were about 35 bucks. I got one that was damaged because it fell off of a pallet somewhere. But this stuff is expensive and you don't wanna waste it. But it's awesome stuff. So we've got our silicone. I poured out equal parts, A and B, and you can see it's pretty thick stuff. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's pretty gooey. So I like to use a tongue depressor to, uh, to mix mine to make sure I get all the way to the bottom. You can get tongue depressors at the doctor's office when uh, he leaves you sitting there for 20 minutes and doesn't come in and say anything. So snatch yourself a handful, they're next to the cotton balls. So we're gonna take one and pour it right into the other. And then we're gonna be ready to start mixing. So I like to do it just in smaller batches like this because you get about six to 10 minutes. It's kind of cool in here, which is why I'm doing it today. So that should give us probably closer to 10, 15 minutes. But I want to make sure I get all this silicone every last bit so we can top off these molds. I'm gonna go to get as many molds done as I can today with this whole little kit over there. So that's why I like using the tongue presser. Plus they're nice and heavy because this stuff is really thick. If you use popsicle sticks, they might want to bend or break. So. We want to make sure all this stuff gets in here. That way we have an even mix ratio too, because you don't want it sloppy or having it gooey and the and the and the uh, silicone not curing. Because like I said, it's expensive. So don't start with the gallon stuff. If you want to do silicone mold making, start with a small little trial kit from Amazon because it's cheaper and it's really good quality stuff. Like I said, this stuff will handle up to 450 degrees. So if you had a little melting pot, you could actually pour pewter in there and make pewter objects. So I take my first cup that I dumped in, stack it so I have a double thickness cup so I don't blow through the bottom and make a big hole and lose all the silicone. And then now I wanna dig down to the bottom and mix it all up in there real good. Try not to do, introduce too many air bubbles, but you don't have to worry about degassing this stuff. Um, it doesn't need it, you can if you want to, but for simple mold making, let's jump right into it. We don't need anything fancy. Like I said, this is a $40 kit from Amazon. I got for, uh, I think it was, 35 attacks because it fell off of a pallet or something that was damaged. But this is the fastest way to start making pieces and have good molds that'll last and then you can make a bunch of objects out of them. All right, so we're gonna mix the hell out of this. And we're gonna start with the little headhunter because he's in a glass dish. All right. I'm gonna keep my stick. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in and re-stir. All right, and again, you want to use gloves for this because it's nasty, and you can see I got a dollar store uh, tablecloth, a buck. You can get two or three uses out of these things and cut them into smaller pieces. So here's our mixed silicone. We're going to go ahead and take our little uh, head hunter. I'm going to try and find the lowest spot of the mold. You want to pour from as high as you can because it'll help bust those air bubbles. And I don't want to pour directly over the mold, although in my other video I did because I was in a hurry. But we want this to just kind of swell over that little object and find its own center or own level and then we're done. So the higher you can pour the better and just let it go wrap itself around and cover the object all by itself. And again those little guys in there are just uh, pieces of uh, wire hanger so the silicone should flow right over them no issues. All right, we're getting there. We're gonna make sure that nose is covered. And then I'm gonna mix up a bunch more batches of this, little ones at a time. And I'm gonna try and fill up as many molds as I can. And like I said before, they want you to be a half inch above your highest part of your mold. But for uh, 
This silicone, I think a quarter inch is just fine. I've never had any issue with it, like uh, getting thin or the nose being deformed or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish pouring this out into this. I'm going to mix up a bunch more batches. We'll come back when this thing is cured, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, guys, our molds are poured. This is our trial size kit from Amazon of the Smooth uh, Smoothon 20T. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five molds out of it. It's okay. We got our bat, our little elf, our scarecrow, and our crow. Uh, we'll save for later. Those guys are basically ready to be molded, so I'll put those guys aside till I get more silicone later. Uh, these guys have been poured up. You can see they're starting to turn an opaque white. They'll turn sort of an opaque white, and when you touch the surface in about eh, half an hour, 35 minutes, I like to give them a nice solid hour to set. It only takes 30 minutes for this silicone to sit, but... Uh, you guys see, I had a little bit more air bubbles in this one because I used the uh, chunks, so I kind of cheated to fill out this mold. But we got five molds out of a trial size bottle of five of our sculpts. Now I know if you guys are tempted to like, hey, why don't we just mix the whole two bottles together? Don't. I've been tempted too. You want to use some kind of graduated cup or graduated measuring cylinder to make sure, because these are just measured by a machine, they dump them in and spit them out. You want to have one equal parts one to one or do it on a scale. I like to do it just by a cup like I showed you guys, and you get the right amount and your stuff will cure and you don't get a globby mess when you pull out. So uh, we're going to let these guys sit up until they fully cure. I'm going to throw the heat gun on top of them since they're all poured up now just to bust little air bubbles and help. And then uh, we'll demold and we'll take a look at what we got. Okay, YouTube, so remember when I told you I cheated? This is how I cheated. I took another silicone mold and cut the flashing off and then chopped it up to kind of use as a filler because I don't think I'm going to have enough uh, silicone to finish off this mold. I'm running low because we only have a trial size. So this is what I did to finish off the demon mold. Okay, YouTube, it's been about an hour since uh, we poured our molds. You can see our silicone's tough. Uh, this is the one we poured first. This is our little uh, shrunken head. That's what it looks like from the back side. You can see the little clay. Looks like no silicone got behind there, so that's pretty cool. That's what we want. Let's go ahead and demold all these. I'll demold this one first, and then I'll uh, demold the other ones, and we'll show you guys what they look like. So with this stuff, like I said, cured, it has the hardness of a uh, pencil eraser. So I'm going to go ahead and try and basically I try and crack the sides first. Let a little bit of air get down in there. You can hear that little cracking sound. Hopefully it comes through on the mic. There we go. Now in the past, when I used the blue tack versus the clay, the same sculpey to tack these down, sometimes it's a real bear to get the uh, piece back out of there. So I like to just kind of take a wooden, something smooth, not harsh, not metal, and try and start working the sides. You can see the little air pocket in there. And just work it around. And, and I can hear it already... You can hear the suction happening. Alright. Alright. Okay, so we came out clean. It took the clay with. We can always put another magnet in there and make a mold. Maybe we'll take a little zombie head. This will be our next one we'll do. But we get our piece back. Okay, let's pull our shrunken head out of there. Alright, and he actually came out clean. So that's what our mold looks like. I need to go back and razor blade trim the edges and stuff. And we can pull the excess clay off. This can go in the trash. And the reason he's brown is because I stained him with an alcohol ink just to see if it would take to the Sculpey. Just playing around and see what I could do with it. Uh, so this guy is basically ready for casting. So I'm going to go ahead and demold all these guys and show you what they look like all out of the molds. Okay, YouTubes, we are all demolded. We've got our headhunter back. Uh, we got a gargoyle, we got the clown, the spider, and the chain uh, mount demon head. Uh, because the demon head had a little undercut in it, back here to hold the chain, I just went ahead and put a little cut right down the middle, so when I pour this guy up, I can pop him out. So with just this little trial pack from Amazon of the Moldstar 20T, We've got one, two, three, four. We got five molds through. And then you saw me, guys, I cheated to use a little bit of an old mold uh, to finish up him. So you can see sort of like the little flakes. It sort of looks like uh, like back in middle school and you got pears floating in jello. It sort of looks like that a little bit. But it works. And he's kind of close to the surface, but that's okay. I only need to make like maybe 15, 20 of these to hold chains. So it should be good. So that's a pretty simple way to do a one-piece mold 
uh, out of just any mold, silicone, molding silicone, and there's a ton out there. I go with this one because I like it. It's super strong stuff. I've had great luck, but you can basically do this with anything. So before I let you guys go, don't think I'm not going to cast these up real fast and show you guys what some of the brand new sculpts look like. So I'm going to do that now. I'm not going to do it on camera because you guys have seen my other Monster Magnet video where I casted a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to bust out a couple of casts. I got some Smooth On 3, uh, 305. This is white, but I'll go ahead and throw some mica powders in there, mix it up a little bit, and I'll show you guys what some of the new sculpts look like. So I'll be back with those in a second. Okay, YouTubes, we are done. Let us review. So, I made a whole bunch of new sculpts this year. Monster magnets for the trick-or-treaters. Uh, we went ahead and used Moldstar 20T to take our original. We made a mold out of it. We then poured resin into it, so this is our copy. This is our original, our mold, and then our copy that we made out of uh, Smooth On. 305 and I just added some mica powders in them to jazz them up a little bit, but uh, this is what we get folks I mean, I'm really happy with them. I think this is gonna be a cool batch of magnets for the year for the kiddos I think they're really gonna freak out. I've got a whole bunch more to uh, mold yet So uh, let's throw these guys up on the board and see what they look like Okay, YouTubes our silicone molds are done we went ahead and made a couple of uh, resin copies of our uh, new batch of monsters We got our clown we got our gargoyle. We got our spider. I really like the spider. He came out pretty awesome and our shrunken head, or Sansa. And then we had the last guy who really isn't a magnet. This guy is gonna be a chain anchor. So this guy will hold a chain. I'll put a screw in the back of him so he doesn't have a magnet right now. But I could always make him a magnet if I needed to. So I just wanted to do a quick video and show you guys making your own silicone mold just to make copies of your sculpts and little stuff. I'm gonna keep adding to my monster magnets. Uh, if you guys get a chance, go check out my brothers in the trio of terror. Uh, Vic Springston at Monster Misfits and David the Weird Kid Show channel, guys. And we also live stream on Monday nights, uh, 7 Central, on Facebook on the Trio of Terror page. So if you guys are interested, we talk all kinds of haunt news and everything else. You guys can throw subjects at us or bills. We talk about everything under the sun. Uh, just to keep it going, because Halloween's a coming. And uh, I know I'm going to get a ton of questions and a ton of comments. I've been posting my uh, my new guys as I sculpt them. I've been posting them on the uh, Cobbs and Candlesticks Facebook page. Uh, so you guys can check there. I'm getting a lot of comments, a lot of questions. But, oh, you're going to sell them? You're going to sell them? Yes, this year I'm going to try and get some kind of store together. Uh, some kind of internet, interweb sale deal. So you guys can get your very own uh, Monster Man if you want from old Cobbs and Candlesticks. So I'll try and get around to that this year. Make these available to you guys. Because you guys have just been bombing the hell out of me with questions and requests and stuff. So I appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for watching and hanging out, man. I hope you all go and try and make your own silicone mold. Uh, this is as simple as I can make it. And until uh, I see you again, keep it evil. Thanks for watching.